And now she's repeating herself, so let's see what equipment she has. Don't have enough money for any of this. Never really did, even with uh, the sale that I just did. Don't have enough for the banded shield, which is the uh, cheapest one. But I'll probably want to save for the banded slayer if, uh, if I can. And then items. Uh, I can buy more Cat's Hall Elixir, but I'm not sure that's really going to be helping me at this point. So I think we are good for now. Look who we have here. It's Gardner. Well, this isn't the new hero on the blockade all Kristen. I was just checking in for an appointment to get my spear all sharpened up and ready for action. Don't like leaving my post unattended, but that's no less dangerous than facing monsters with a dull weapon, you know? Man, that Elena. Her biggest talent has always been her uncanny ability to sneak out of town unnoticed. She's damn good at it, too. No one could ever keep her in Redmont, no matter how hard they tried. That's it from Gardner. Let's talk to Adonis. Don't want... Well, can't get any good equipment tempered right now, so we'll just talk. You know what my grandfather always used to tell me? He said that Revalor is filled with the latent elemental energy of the land spirits. He always was a religious sort, though. Me, I'm not even sure there are spirits in this land, so I certainly can't say if any of them sleep inside Revalor. I'll tell you what I do know, though. Spirits or no, Revalor feels different than any other metal out there. I have no idea if there are spirits in this land or not, so I certainly can't say if any of them sleep inside Raval. I'll tell you what I do know, though. All right. Like, the first line's different a lot of these times, but the second line is the same. But we do have all of the Raval ore that we need for Anya. You're the best, Mr. Adol. Did you find all me hidden treasure? So what did you think? Was it super tough to find them all? And did I sound like a real pirate? I bet I did. And you know what? You can keep it. You did a really good job finding it, so I'm going to give it to you as a present. I'll see you later, mister. But you got to come play again real soon, okay? And for that, you do get an achievement. It's called uh, Proficient Plunderer for completing Anya's quest. Uh, but we do have another uh, side quest to take care of, and that is finding... Elena. Uh, we could warp there, but honestly, I would rather fight my way there, because it's not that far to Veilstein Castle. Not like some of the other treks that we have done, so. We'll take care of this as we go. We're not necessarily going to go out of our way to kill things, but if they are in my path, they will die. Just seems to make sense to me. Down they go. Let's head up to, well, close. One more screen to the Veilstein Castle. I thought, I keep on forgetting about, like, this screen. And I think the next screen, too. Just all sorts of wrong today in terms of thinking about the map. But we got at least one more to go here. There we go. No real issue getting through these monsters. They are not that difficult, after all. Didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't really matter. Everything's dead anyway. All right, so we head up to Veilstein Castle. Um, no, I, uh, sorry, I was supposed to warp here. We're not actually going to Veilstein Castle. Then we want to head down here. Yeah, this is the way to go. Because Elena is here. This is another side quest, by the way. Adol? I I'm sorry. I knew it was dangerous with all the monsters around, yet I still left the safety of the town unescorted. My brother would always bring me here when I was little. You can look out at the entire Siena Bay from here. Isn't it one? Isn't it beautiful? If you look over there, you'll see Gino's Island. Supposedly, an ancient tribe used to live there. I don't know what happened to them, but I heard they all died out. Chester used to come here and just sit quietly, looking at the water. And I'd often join him. It was so peaceful, yet there was always such sadness in his eyes. Even back then, I could tell he had something on his mind, but I could never bring myself to ask him what it was. So we just sit together and watch the water until it got dark. 
I don't really remember anything from when I was just a little girl. My first real memories are from when Papa t first took us in. I don't know where I lived or what kind of people I was with before that. I don't even have any clue as to what would make me forget so much. But I think my brother remembers at least some of it. That's the impression I always got anyway. Whenever we'd sit out here... Sorry, I must be boring you to tears. I should probably get back to town. Would you excuse me, Adol? It'll offer to escort Elena safely back to Redmont. So yeah, we offer to escort her back. Huh? Oh no. It's still light out, so I should be safe from the monsters. But you won't take no for an answer, will you? If you insist, then I shall humbly accept your offer. And we are now escorting Elena, who has a health bar. Thank you, Adol. I feel much safer with you. Shall we then? Yeah, there's her. There's her health bar. Not my favorite thing, but we will head up and we will do our best to not let her get hit like ever because just a couple hits and that's bad news. Hopefully she's a little bit stockier than Kristoff. So far, she just hasn't gotten hit. All right. Just bypass all that. Gonna have to take that out. Don't don't think she got hit there. Now the wolves are no problem. It's the plants that are the problem, which I'm trying to avoid. I'm trying to avoid the plants because they are the problem. But uh, I think this one's pretty pretty basic and standard, so. We should have it in the bag. She was not touched. Speaking of touching, let's head back to Redmont. And now where is it entirely? Um, left side. Now, don't I get something for that? All right, no, she's push, all right, push her there. No, damn it. Up against the left side and click. Damn it. Hold on then. Well, apparently all I needed to do was run into that, but I thought that by doing so we would get her measurements, which is what we got uh, before. But I already got the achievement on Steam, so apparently I did it. You just need to yeah, push her in like that and you should get it. But as far as I can tell, there's no measurements on the screen, which I'm kind of happy with, to be honest with you. But uh, I did check and Steam gave me the achievement. Uh, it's called Legacy Pervert. So hooray for that. Let's head back into town and finish up this escorting for good. We can talk to Gardner. Elena, you little twerp. Did you sneak out of town on me again? I swear I can't take my eyes off of you for a second. Please don't try to make me worry so much. Do you know how old I am? My heart ain't what it used to be. I I'm sorry, Mr. Gardner. Well, it is still light out. Nadal's with you, so it could be worse. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Let's head in. Thank you so much, Adolf, for everything. I'd love to stay and chat with you, but I promised Margot I'd help her at the inn. You've got things all of your own to take care of anyway. The Elder Mountains, right? The monsters there are particularly vicious, so do be careful, okay? All right, well, there's a little bit of work that we can still do. So uh, we're going to head out now that we have the double jump which apparently I can't use around here. Uh, we're gonna head out and get more treasure. So let's use this and head first to the uh, storehouse at the Tigray Quarry. And we're going to head to the right, to the vertical shaft here. I'll take care of all this because I can. It's so easy these days. 
Not necessarily what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. I think I wanted to go up the right side here. Yeah, right side, and then we need to double jump in time. Eh. There we go, double jump accomplished, and we made it up here. And what do we get for all our effort? We get 1,200 gold. It's quite a significant number. We're up to 15,000 total, so let's just drop all the way down as far as I can go and get out of here. Because we are done. That's, that's one of them. Uh, the other one that I wanted to get is out again at the Ilburn's Ruins. And I want to go to the... Uh, top side one, which is all the way at the end. And that means that I'm going to need to re-equip my Fireworms amulet. I want to go west and then north. Damn it. Just die. Like I said, the birds... They're the, they're the worst because it is difficult to get a, a shot in on them. All right, so that's where I'm supposed to go. Earn here. 800 gold. So total, we got 2,000 gold for all this effort. Uh, let's keep going, though. Let's see what else is here. Because I'm pretty sure there's more. Nothing too difficult here. We'll need to double jump again. No, I don't need to double jump again. Oh, I thought I did, but... Oh, no, I did. I do need to double jump so I can get up here and get... The Cat's Hall Elixir. Which I'm just going to immediately use. Let's be honest. There's no point in holding on to it. Give me... Over 200 HP, up to 201 now. And we have done quite a bit today. <laughs> just die. Give me the little bit of experience that you're worth and let me get out of here. So I didn't actually need the... Uh, Fireworm amulet. I can put the night fire gem back on and we can warp out of here. I'm gonna head back to. Actually, I can go to the Elder Mountain Strait, can I? To the base of it, right? We couldn't go here before because I did need to double jump. But we will head further in next time. Uh, for now, before we leave, there are. More monsters for me to go over. I don't believe there are more characters for me to go over. Still just the two that I'm missing. But monsters, there should be some new things. Uh, the foe's end should be the first new one. A mitotic, a mitotic slime reproduces asexually, often creating a sudden increase in numbers. And despite separating, it continues to act as one. Then we have the row ball. That was the kind of antlion plant. Uh, a mutating insect-eating plant that captures prey, a mutated insect-eating plant that captures prey in its t prey in its tentacles, relies on ground vibrations to sense movement, so is best struck from above. We have a geld, a gore-loving ogre with greatly honed night vision, attacks with sharp claws that can tear right through a wooden shield. We have a barlin, a flying jellyfish-like creature, attacks from above with electricity, shares basic structure with Fozens, maybe from the same genus. The Fozen? Oh. The blob thing also turns into a jellyfish. Then we have the Duradel, a powered up Raydel, uh, strikes the ground hard enough to trigger an earthquake, becomes completely enraged with, when injured. And then we have the Gelgrad, a subspecies of Geld, able to camouflage itself in the dark and when found attacks with its claws, pursues its prey endlessly. All right, that is it for the new regular monsters, but there should be a couple new ones here. Uh, I don't think we went over Gialva before, Lord of the Blazing Prison. 
A great flying dragon which has long held the duty of eliminating those who attempt to escape from the lava pits. It attacks with flaming breath and powerful body charges. Guardian of the Sunset statue. Then we have Ister Siva, the crystalline entity. A mysterious crystal that pulses as if alive and is filled with impurities that look almost like internal organs. It attacks with intense bursts of an unknown energy. Guardian of the Darkness statue. So, we have made quite a bit of progress. We will continue with the main plot next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play East. The Oath and Fell Gun. I've been Baller Scoop. I've been joined, as always, by our level 24 swordsman, Adol Kristen. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>